And before we jump in, my name is Ganna. For those who are new to this channel, I'm an AI scientist, applied AI scientist, meaning I test different AI products and help them get better. I've been living in Canada for about 10 years now, and English is not my first language. And like many of you, I learned it. And while I was a beginner, I didn't have such a great tool like AI which really helps a lot in learning foreign languages. I speak English fluently now and recently even got an ESL certificate for myself, not for professional purposes, but I continue to improve my English and uh, not only English and learn something new every day. And ChatGPT is an incredible tool for this. I've been experimenting with it a lot. Uh, as an AS scientist, I'm interested in how to use it in the best way possible. So I wanted to share tips and tricks on how to do it in the most efficient way. So to begin with, any language can be divided into many different parts. They are usually grouped into four main skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. These are the main skills that are assessed in international language tests, for example. As children, we learn all four of the skills as we learn language naturally. First, a child listens, then begins to speak, then goes to school to learn letters and begin to read, and finally begins to write. Uh, this process happens organically and naturally, but we adults need to make an effort because unlike children, we cannot afford to spend two years on just listening. We have to learn all four skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. We need them in our everyday life. I mean, sometimes one skill cannot exist without the other. Let's say even if your listening is great, you can't communicate with people if you don't speak well. I think each of us knows which skills we are stronger at and which ones need improvement. This is where it is important to be honest with yourself and focus on developing your weaker skills. And that leads us to the question, where do we start? I have a great piece of advice for you on what that first step should be. Don't neglect this first step, especially if you're just starting out. It is very important. So the first thing we need to do is to honestly assess our current level. This can be done with international tests like IELTS or TOEFL, but they cost money and quite expensive. Luckily, though, you can test your knowledge for free. I'll share with you a few links to free tests that will give you a good starting point. Of course, you can't use these tests for immigration or university admission, but they will help you to understand what your current level of language skills is, to understand where to start. Once you know your level, you can make a study plan. And to make a plan, you need to set some linguistic goals. It can be moving from B1 to B2 level, improving listening skills or improving communication. Having a clear goal is crucial. Uh, the goal should be very specific. Let's say I'm at A2 level and my goal is to reach B2 level in eight months to pass the IELTS exam. And let's say I know that I'm not very good at speaking. Knowing that we can make a plan using AI. I go to ChatGPT and ask it to create a comprehensive learning plan. You can start by introducing yourself to ChatGPT and explaining your learning goals. You can also specify the time you can dedicate each day for language learning. Here is the prompt we can use considered our IELTS goal to get started. Hi ChatGPT, I want to learn English. Let me introduce myself to give you a better idea of my needs and to ensure you can tailor your responses accordingly. Current level A2. Main goal, reach level B2 to be ready for the IELTS exam in eight months with an emphasis on speaking skills. Time commitment, I can allocate 20 minutes per day. Could you please create a weekly learning plan for me? and ChatGPT creates a customized plan for you. It is important to be as specific as possible because look what a difference it makes if you don't mention the time in which you want to achieve the goal. If we don't mention eight months, we get a simple weekly plan. But if we do, we get a progressive learning plan that starts with basic skills and gradually move on to more advanced topics and IELTS preparation.
So this is exactly what you need to get from point A to point B in a certain amount of time. Can you feel the difference? How important it is to pay attention to detail and create the perfect prompts. As a general template that you can fill in with your information to get you started, you can use this one. Be sure to write it down somewhere. Here you can describe your current level, mention your preferred learning style, indicate your areas of interest and how many hours you can spend on language learning. You can change it any way you like and use it as the basic prompt for ChatGPT conversations. Now that we know our learning goals, current level and have a plan, it's time to set the stage for ChatGPT to truly become your personal language coach. So let's put that plan into action. We can use AI to learn grammar, conversation practice, pronunciation and more. Here are a few basic ways. Simulating real-life conversations. Let's start with improving your speaking skills and fluency. To really improve your speaking skills, you need to immerse yourself in real language conversations. ChatGPT will help you simulate such conversations and practice them as you would with real person. ChatGPT has incredible voice capabilities. For this, I recommend downloading the mobile version of ChatGPT. Uh, it's very easy to do. Download the ChatGPT app from Google Play and log in to your account. Then tap on the microphone to start a conversation. You can use the following as the voice prompt. Okay, let's try it. Hello ChatGPT, I want to practice my English by simulating real conversations. Let's imagine that we are in a restaurant, you are the waiter and I'm a customer. Please ask questions and respond to my answers to make the conversation interactive. Of course, let's get started. Good evening, welcome to our restaurant. My name is ChatGPT and I'll be your waiter tonight. May I start you off with something to drink? Yes, just tap water, please. I'm feeling quite thirsty. Certainly, I'll get that right away. Here you go, a glass of tap water. Have you had a chance to look at the menu? Or do you need a few more minutes? Yes, I would like to look at the menu uh, and thank you for suggesting this. You're welcome. Our menu features a variety of dishes. We have appetizers like garlic bread and bruschetta, main courses including pasta, steak, and grilled salmon. And for dessert, we have cheesecake and chocolate lava cake. Do you have any dietary preferences or restrictions that I should know about? No, I don't have any dietary restrictions. Thanks for asking. I was wondering what would you recommend as a main course? I'm glad to hear that. One of our most popular main courses is the grilled salmon with lemon butter sauce. It's served with a side of roasted vegetables and mashed potatoes. If you prefer something heartier, our steak with peppercorn sauce is also a favorite. It comes with a side of garlic fries and a fresh garden salad. Do either of these sound appealing to you? The salmon sounds lovely uh, and uh, I think I'll go with the grilled salmon. Excellent choice. The grilled salmon is delicious. I'll place that order for you. Now I want to show you a cool trick. After the conversation, go to the written version of your conversation and ask ChatGPT to give you feedback. Ask it to suggest more natural phrase building and vocabulary refining to improve your speaking skills. You look at them and can incorporate them into further conversations. Next, let's say you want to improve your reading skills. So, it is well known that boring and dry texts are not effective for learning a foreign language. To really improve your reading skills, you need content that is designed specifically for you, for your interests and abilities. This is where ChatGPT ability to create engaging content comes in handy. AI is able to create an original, exciting storyline that will be interesting for you. But there is one very important thing you should know about creating reading material. Let me show you it. You can use this prompt for example. Hi ChatGPT, 
I want to improve my reading skills in English. Could you please create a horror story for me in a graded reading style for A2 level? I will describe the setting and characters, and you will create a story using language appropriate to my level. Please explain your vocabulary and complex sentences as you go along. So you see, it is important to indicate your level here, so that you will not be discouraged if the level of created story is too high. After reading the story, you can ask ChatGPT to make up questions to check your reading comprehension and tell ChatGPT to check the answers. So you're all set. Next, we can use it for vocabulary building. ChatGPT can be incredibly useful for this. You can ask it to make a vocabulary quiz, give you synonyms and antonyms for words, suggest words related to a specific topic, create a list of common expressions you can use in everyday conversation. Many, many useful things. But I want to suggest you try something really cool called immersive vocabulary building. Dry vocabulary lists and flashcards for mechanical memorization are a thing of the past. To really learn new words, you need an immersive interactive experience that sticks in your memory. That's where the power of ChatGPT comes in. You can go on a journey with artificial intelligence where you learn words while immersed in another country and culture. For example, try this prompt. Hi ChatGPT, I want to expand my English vocabulary through an exciting adventure. Let's begin our journey with a trip to UK. I'll describe what I see and do and you'll introduce new vocabulary words and phrases related to my experiences. Please provide explanations and examples to help me understand and remember these words. And then imagine that you have just arrived at Heathrow Airport in London. What do you see and what do you do next? Describe it to ChatGPT. As for writing, ChatGPT can certainly help you with that as well. I think the best way to use it for this is to check your writings. You can upload your work to ChatGPT and ask to provide feedback on your essays, get feedback on grammar, syntax, and spelling. This is a chance to identify and correct any mistakes you have uh, and improve your writing skills. You can write a short paragraph or a short story and then ask ChatGPT to evaluate it and give suggestions for improvement. If you think that ChatGPT can't help you with your listening skills, then you are mistaken because it is really amazing in creating something that is specifically designed for you, considering your level, interests, and experience. To get the most out of ChatGPT, you can use this prompt. Hello ChatGPT, I would like to improve my English listening skills with a text suitable for A2 level students. Could you write a short, simple text about visiting a famous city landmark, such as the Eiffel Tower in Paris? Alternatively, make up a series of questions based on the text to check comprehension. Make sure the questions cover key details from the text and include answers for reference. You can then click the read aloud button and listen to the whole text and all the questions and try to answer them to make sure you have understand everything. Of course, this is not the limit of how AI can be used to learn a foreign language. We are only limited by our imagination. If you have your own ideas, write about them in the comments. It will be interesting to read. All links and resources are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave comments with your thoughts or questions.